Boy, oh boy, do I have something to explain to you guys. Hey guys, it's me, William, here. And there's something I want to explain to you guys about. And it's become a very serious uh, problem to me over the past one and a half years. And it's just a lot to take care of and a lot of just lot of explaining going on and it's just it's become a big gigantic problem and I need to address it and all that stuff so this happened so let me give you context on what happened um let's see um a year and a half ago I was experiencing a very strange and non-normal kind of condition that was happening to me. I was, well, first of all, I was starting to sweat because I was exercising more. Uh, I started to itch and I started getting hives. And in high, and for those of you who don't know who, what, 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 I can't speak. What hives are, there are these spots on your skin and they just itch more and um, it can become a real big issue if you're, like a person that really that really itches. My condition is different is definitely much worse than what it is for you guys that know what hives are and you have hives. Uh, anyways, um, and I was starting I was sweating and I was starting to um, I was starting to break out in hives and. I was just in a complete mess, like I was just itching all over everywhere, and I just, I couldn't resist, and yeah, uh, it's getting, it's getting like all over me, like my legs, my back, my arms, and it's just horrible. Um, so basically, that happened, and I noticed that it was not right and it was just wrong i need to get i need to get checked up and my doctor uh diagnosed me with a disease and he could not figure out what the name was but we but up until today uh at high school at my high school which is that it was my second day of high school um i figured out what the name was if you don't know about Colorergic, um, gosh, what was it again? Colorergic, um, articaria. If you don't know about colorergic articaria, then, uh, you need to, um, look that up real quick. It is a disease, uh, it is a skin disease that, um, when you're starting to sweat, when you're starting to have a lot of heat exposure on your skin and... When you're exercising, you will start to realize that you will be starting to breaking into you will be starting to break out in hives and just having a rough time. It's torture. I know. It is torture. I've been dealing with it for one and a half years and it is becoming a real big problem and I just realize what it is to this day. Um and this has happened this has been happening for a long time and I've just I've completely lost my mind out of all of this. I started texting my friends on Twitter um as well as um some other friends on Discord through text messages. I started like freaking out and I was just realizing what this was like I didn't know what this was a year and a half ago, but now that it co completely makes total sense on what's been happening, what this is, what this disease is, is just, I don't know, guys, but all I know is that cholerogic articaria is just the worst thing that has ever happened to me, and I have not felt normal since. Like, I, I've always wanted to get rid of this once and for all, but the process is just 
it's gonna take a lot it's just gonna take a long time to actually get this done and over with because i want this gone i want my my old life back where i didn't want to itch where i had hives on my arms my legs and my back because the back my back has been the main spot recently <laughs> and i've been wanting to get rid of it ever since it happened and I've been starting to take allergy meds, I've been starting to get to put on some lotion, taking cold showers, mostly, because, well, warm showers and hot showers, it's just so relaxing, but the cold showers, oh, that's a whole different story, but that is only some ways to actually get rid of it, um, yeah, so that's what's been happening, and... I want you guys to know what's been happening with me while you're gonna start seeing me itch more possibly on streams and possibly on videos. I'm gonna try my best not to do it on videos and on live streams, but I just can't resist it. Cause, um, I don't know. It's just, it's just a lot to figure out and I just want this all over and I want I want to live normally like you guys are in the world. And yeah. That's be, that's basically what's been happening. I uh I'm going to try my best to fight this thing and to fight hard to get rid of this once and for all. It may take a couple years, probably like 7 or 10 years. Hopefully less than that, but that's basically what's been what's I've been going through and basically what's happening to me in this world as of right now in the past one and a half years. So there's the reason why I wanted to make this video. I uh I will try my best to fight this as much as I can before it does get severely worse. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you all n realize what's been happening in my life. And, yeah, what I've been dealing with is just, it's torture, and I want this all to end, and I want this all to stop. So yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.